Hello everyone, welcome back. This is JR and as promised, like I said a few weeks ago, I am actually going to be doing a Ancestry.com results reveal, whatever you would like to call it. This is it. It For, the, for those of you who have been following, you know that I put out a video where I opened the box, did the test for Ancestry.com to determine what my ancestry is composed of and I just got the notification so now I have logged on today is September the 8th 2018 and when I log in as you can see this is my real name here top left and when you log in you have different options whether you would like to connect or have a membership to connect with family members and things like that. But I'm just getting into this just to basically show you guys what what you can expect once you join up and once you submit your DNA and what it comes back as. So this basically shows the global global map, the geogra geographical regions of where your ethnicities are which it shows down here my ethnicity estimate as you can see and it shows basically for those of us who are Americans and who most definitely are products of the Atlantic slave trade shows our entry point or as the logisticians like to say our point of debarkation you know what I mean? Right here. So those of you, y'all already know I'm from South Carolina. So we see that area. We see that a lot here. The Georgia, the Carolinas, Florida area, which is uh, the point of debarkation for people, obviously, people that were brought over during the, during the Atlantic slave trade and those who benefited from it which obviously half of my half of my origins as you may know is from the UK which we'll get into that obviously on my father's side but the percentages kind of stunned me but hey it is what it is I, I kind of knew about my father being even though I wasn't really close with my father I knew that he had ancestors that came directly from the UK because I have a nephew who had made a post on Facebook a few years back, you know, and it was very interesting about the actual time, which I can't quote off the top of my head. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. So my ethnicity estimate. This is what we have here. We have Great Britain, which isn't a surprise, like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, 50 percent. And this could also be. A part of my mother's as well but who knows but it's 50 percent so when you click on it it shows you know england scotland wales primary location so all of those things like that so i'm going back and then we have nigeria which i was you know it it kind of stood out to me which i guess a lot of us who are products of the atlantic slave trade is going to be from western africa and things like that but it has nigeria on here 22 percent, which i'll get into at uh african ancestry.com and do that test sometime later so 22 percent of that then it gets into the low confidence areas so for those like me who are looking at this and say well i'm thinking to myself what percentage of me is actually african so i went down the line and started counting as we going through so that's 22 then you got African Southeastern Bantu, that's 29. Then uh, Benin and Togo, that's 4%, so that's 33. Then you have Mali, which is 2%, that's 35. Then you have Ivory Coast, Ghana, which is 36. And all those others are, are minuscule, as you can see on there. But when you click on these, it gives you, you know, the percentage, as I said, Southeast African, you know, Kenya, 
Namibia, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Angola, Tanzania, Mozambique, Uganda, and so on and so forth. So I think it's pretty cool, the, the, the little quick breakdown that you get from it. And it goes into the migrations. And if you see down in the bottom right here, how it goes by year based upon um, migration and so on and so forth. So Mali, Mali and Guinea. So we got that down. And it goes into around this time, that's when the settlers and things like that, and they give you a little information, melting pot, 1750, so that's 50 years, colonization, 1800s, 1850, it's a big year, it goes into, it gives you a little backstory on things when you click on it two to one blacks outnumbered whites i'm just scrolling through here so you guys can see see this and it shows as they started dispersing out from these different points so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Feel, uh, I don't know what to feel. <laughs> the UK is a big thing. So I, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to look more extensively into this and, uh, go from there. So uh, I encourage you guys, if you haven't done it, check it out cost you, you know, this one only cost me like 60 bucks to do, so, and I got the option of obviously continuing on to connect with other people who are actually on this site who we shared, you know, ancestral DNA and stuff like that, so, this is pretty much it, in a nutshell, I don't know why that came up, it's just breaking down these little areas. Nigeria. So, with that being said, I'm signing off. Peace.